Before we get into our training video, if by chance you found this video as a recommended video on YouTube, this training video is actually part of an extensive Corel Draw for Beginners training series from AdvancedTShirts.com. We have developed dozens of videos and we also have available on our website downloadable work along files that you can work with in Corel Draw while you're working through the training videos. Easily the best and fastest way to learn. If these videos are helpful to you, please take a second to add a like to the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be notified when we upload new video content. And of course, in the comment section below, you can post your questions or your Corel Draw video tutorial requests. In this session, we're going to get into the basics of working with color palettes in CorelDRAW and our vector objects. By default, your color palettes will be installed over here on the right. If you want to open up additional color palettes, you can go to Window, and you can go to Color Palettes, and you'll see an extensive list of color palettes that you can work with. Now, I'm not going to go deep into color palettes in this session. I'll get into that in future training, not in this series. I'm just going to look at the basics of working with color palettes. You can also open color palettes from the color palette management docker. That would be window, dockers, and where is that color palette manager? Right there. But we just want to cover the basics of working with palettes here. So the color palettes over here on the right hand side of the workspace. At the top you'll see two rows of little gray dots and your cursor will change to the move cursor when you're hovering over those. You can left click, hold down, and bring those out into your workspace. Then you can reshape them if you'd like to and position them any place you'd like to put them in your workspace. And this is the default color palette which is RGB. Now let's take a look at color palettes and the mouse. I'll select the vector object. From the color palette, if I left click any color, it will change the fill to that uniform color left click, the fill is changed. If I go to another color and I right click, that'll change the outline color. As you can see right there. Now I can also left click, hold down and get a fly out of that color of going into some tints and tones and shades of that color, which is the fly out from the color palette. And then I could left or right click anywhere in here to change that color. If I right click here, I'll change the outline color. Same thing for the fill. Left click, hold down, color fly out, come over here, let's say down here, left click, change the fill. Also, with the mouse button and the scroll wheel, you can come over here to them when they're lined up on the side and you can left click and start to pull down and scroll through the color palette or push forward to go up. So it's pull back on your center mouse wheel to go down, push forward to go up. So those are the basics of the color palettes. Now let's take a look. We'll zoom out and take a look at some things here. If I want to find a Pantone color, let's say I want to fill this with a specific Pantone color. Look at the Pantone colors there. These are spot colors for spot color separations. Very popular in screen printing and spot color printing. I can go to the palette, which is the Pantone color palette here, hold down shift and click, and that will bring up the find color by name dialog box. So I could go to let's say Pantone and we'll enter in 600 C and select OK. Now I'll see that color right here and I could left click on that to fill that. I can also left click hold down and you can't see it because I'm getting a rollout of tints of that color going down in increments of the color. So what I want to do is just for now I'm going to move this color palette over here so you can see that. Now here I'm in a Pantone color. If I left click hold down, you can see the fly out for the spot color. Here's the densities of the color, 90, 80, 70, etc. And those are the tints of the color. 
and we'll get into that in other training series in the future. We're just getting into the basics now. So you can see how the color palettes work. I'm going to put this back, left click and bring this over here and release and it should go right back in there. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get these things back where you want. You kind of have to stick with it right there. There we go. Also, if I have a color set up, let's say I'll go with a red here and I'm thinking about going to a yellow. If I hold down control and start clicking, I'll start moving with every double click from the red to the yellow. Right now I'm in a orange because I'm between red and yellow and red and yellow make orange. Double click, double click, double click, double click, double click. And you can see I'm moving to the yellow from the orange. If I hold down the alt button and left click, that will change the outline color as opposed to using the right click. So if I hold down alt and click on the red, that changes the outline color, but really a simple right click is much easier. So that's just the basics of working with the color palettes. You can move them around, left click in the title bar, hold down, move them around where you'd like them to be in your workspace if you want to move them. Or you can just put them back over here to the right where we started from. So we'll wrap here concerning the basics of working with color palettes and we'll continue in our next video session.